What's up guys, my name is Technobler here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a bit of a different video for you but it's still on par with my OBS tutorial series. So basically, if your game looks somewhat like this while you're playing it, however your final recording looks a little bit more like this, then there may be a couple of issues with your recording setup as is. Don't worry, as long as you're using relatively recent hardware, there's probably nothing wrong with it. It's actually just your settings with OBS and how it interacts with a game. So the reason that we're losing frames, however they might not be being reported as dropped frames, is because our PC is more than likely running out of system resources, meaning that OBS has nowhere that it can take resources it needs to record with. There are two very simple solutions to this. The first is that OBS has an issue where it's basically not allowed to allocate resources for itself that it can use to record. Instead, your game does that first, Windows does that next, and then OBS does it third and has the little bit that's left over. And if you're running a really demanding game, then OBS may have literally nothing to work with. And that is probably the first reason that you're getting this. The absolute simplest fix for this is to go ahead and close your OBS completely, find your OBS Studio shortcut, right click and run as administrator. Then once OBS opens up, go ahead and try recording as normal. And if you see your frame rates have improved, then that means that your PC did run out of system resources. And by running it as administrator, it's taking the resources first before your game and then the rest of your PC. Of course, you may drop a couple of frames in game. However, it'll be nowhere near the frames that you're dropping in your final recording. And if that didn't help you, then your PC may still be running out of resources far too much. And there are two main ways to fix this. The first one is to lower the actual GPU usage of your game. How do you do that? Well, the simplest way of getting around that is by lowering the in-game graphic settings. Now, of course, I'll be using CSGO as an example, but of course, there's tens of thousands of games that all have very similar video settings. If we scroll down, some of the most demanding settings here are anti-aliasing, where the higher this is, you may not notice an actual difference over something like 2x or even no anti-aliasing. FXAA just blows your screen a bit, so usually you'd have that off. Motion blur also takes quite a bit of processing power. And of course, if you have all of those set to low or lower, and you're still experiencing lost frames in your final recording, then a very good idea would be to scroll down and find yourself a vertical sync option. Now, by having this on instead of disabled, you're limiting your frames to your actual screen FPS. So say you're getting 300 frames in Counter-Strike, it's going ahead and processing 300 frames, even though you'll only really see 60 or 144, and it's taking up a ton of resources for very, very little noticeable difference. So by enabling VSync, you're going ahead and capping the max frame rate to something that's a little bit more handleable, and your PC has more resources left over. This was a serious issue with me in Rust, and by enabling VSync, I fixed that very easily. And of course, if enabling VSync didn't help, then some games have the ability to set an FPS max. Currently, my CSGO is set to 400. However, you can set this to your screen's FPS and you can leave vertical sync disabled if you wanted. But either way, the main goal of this whole little side story is to say that to get your recordings to not be so choppy, you need to make sure that there's resources left over for OBS Studio to use. And then when you have time, go ahead and open up Task Manager, head across to Performance, and just keep an eye on your CPU and GPU tables down here. Basically, you can right-click, change graph to Logical Processes, and you'll see how many threads or cores you have and the usage of every single one of them. If you see your CPU usage is relatively low, but you scroll down and your GPU is pinned at 100% on anything here, then that probably means that there's very little resources left over for OBS Studio to use. So, as I said before, go ahead and lower your video settings in your game until this gets to a reasonable level and OBS has some resources left to work with. It's still a good idea to run your games at a relatively good resolution for your PC hardware, even if your screens support higher FPS or bigger resolutions. The screen over here is 2K, however, I used to have to record videos in 1080p so that, so that I wouldn't drop frames. But anyways, that's about it. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, hopefully this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.